Now I managed to completely forget this existed for the last two days. Mm. Oh, okay. Last day. Yesterday I forgot. The day before that I was busy. You know, me busy at like two in the morning. It just seems kind of weird, but. Uh, I didn't even give a recap of any kind, I just went straight to the dark track. That was not really the best course of action. <laughs> Previously on Universe... No, this is not a reality show. This isn't, this isn't Days of Our Lives. Remember the character like Danny and mine, you'd be like Mike Young and the Wrestles. <laughs> it's sitting on the side of this car. Oh my god, racing for my sister. <laughs> what? Interesting. Well, a, a hurricane has pole. That's interesting prospect. You're starting with a very bold move there. Apparently hit someone in the first lap. I was kind of thinking to myself because I had another plan for around this time, but I'm going to be here next weekend, over the weekend, so I have to record something now and tomorrow. I don't really have to, I guess, but it's like, I definitely should, so I'm going to. Because it was just sort of like a last minute, yeah, I should do this type thing. I didn't exactly have a a pre-planned like thing to mention, so like, you know, the last episode how I spent most of it like going over rejected characters and etc. Falcon took a weird line for this corner. Some air just taking out in the back again. I got kind of a date at the track, I swear. Sometimes, I mean, that's odd and awkward, but I should not discuss the reasons why <laughs> because it should be obvious.
Hmm. Head was very itchy. Well, right now it doesn't exactly seem like it's going to be a big upset for the uh, Lamborghini drivers. And what a couple definitely do well to kind of like beat Mojo. I don't think they want to be destroyed. It's not generally a positive outcome. Gearhead's in another country at this point. Actually, well, he's not that far ahead, but he's ahead a lot. And then it's close for second, it's close for fourth. Eighth through like twelfth, they're also pretty close to each other. That's uh, that's the grass. <laughs> that, that's the grass. <laughs> Not usually where you want to put your vehicle. There's another uh, carbon is even really keeping with Alex and Falcon. That car isn't quite as good as theirs, as you can see, down this very long shirt away. <laughs> they gain like a hundred yards on him. <laughs> Though when Alex keeps doing that, I suppose it's easier to stick with him. <clears throat> Mojo's still denying XT3 here. Biden was just passed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised it took this long. I'm just really about to try that. What are you doing, sir? I guess maybe that's why it took so long. The uh, the little old F1 car probably has better power. It just doesn't turn because the suspension setup is like. 1970s technology and not. Well, I'd say that, like, Verb's car is that much newer. This is a late 80s car, I'm pretty sure, so. He is very courageous, but he is never close enough to actually try anything that he thinks will work. There was something again though, I bet, much. Nah, he doesn't, here. Even Lightning knows that his, uh... His handling, or lack thereof, can only really take him so far before he, uh... Before it takes him to the gravel trap. these cars. That auto are just getting in each other's way. They're not really helping anyone but fighting halfway around the half for half of the race. XC3 finally got around the monkey. Which probably helps Buttercup a wee bit. Okay, now he's just out of here. <laughs> X3 was blatantly faster. Burn seems to have kind of tidied up some of his uh, driving tendencies. He's, I feel like Act 2 Burn would have just tried to pass Buttercup there, and that never works. <laughs> and for how much faster your car is, you really don't pass into that corner, despite it being a massive braking area. I 
I regret this decision entirely. This car is the worst ever. <laughs> That's a tier two car, I'm pretty sure. Not even three. That looks Falcon and Carbon are incredibly close still. Again, I think it's because Falcon has more power, Alex turns better, and this collusion keeps them, like, fighting amongst each other, and that's why Carbon, who has neither advantage, I guess it's kind of like the one in the middle of the two, is still there because Alex is just being blocked in the corners and escaped from on the straightaways, like that, even though that straightaway is not even that long. I don't really think they're catching Grease Lightning, so he's gonna take third place here. I'm fairly certain. Buttercup mm, probably won't have the uh, ability to get up, up to Mojo in the remaining lap and a bit left. Granted, it is only like a second difference, but that's still... That's just too much. Oh, so yeah, now Gearhead is officially very far ahead. <laughs> he is officially winning. Otto isn't really having the best time with this track, apparently. This car is definitely a more powerful car, so I don't really see why he's having problems getting away from even bubbles in this situation. Now, uh, Buttercup sh surely won't be catching Mojo if Burn decides to just keep pestering her. Yeah, I'd confidently say that they're not, uh... They will not be, uh, battling over anything, really. Oh, Jesus. I think I'm better off in that Nissan GTR than that thing. Golly. I think just the stock one would have been better than that piece of garbage. <laughs> Alex is like, I can pass him, and then I uh, forgot it was Captain Falcon you were trying to pass, and that's not really an easy task. Yeah. Everyone was near each other, there's no one really close enough to pass each other after... Actually, 3 passing Mojo was like the last, like, move of all the entire race, and that was in like lap 3. Everyone was just basically having a little house party on the, on the racetrack, other than that. Or after that, rather. for much longer, this is just ridiculous. The idiot of mine keep putting me in these cars. I do the job this as well and anything else and sub for this. Alright, now on to racetrack in California. 
which was ironic because it's like the only real life track outside of Europe in the entire game. And this is also the newest track in the game, which they added in like a hand like just a couple of months ago, or well, actually it's been probably more than that at this point. The concept of a long passage of time is somewhat distorted at the best of times. <laughs> I'm like, eh, it's only been, you know, five months since X thing happened, and then I look into it and find out, oh, that happened over a year ago. Oops. Just the type of person that I am. Get over that little message there. Is that supposed to mean something? Oh, Alex is starting in last. Ah, uh, close enough, I mean. Otto is on pole for this race. Greetings, Max Justice. I am Otto Von Diesel. I don't know why I randomly started breaking into reference and to voice acting at that moment in time, but I did. Their horsepower, but you can't really do anything with it because that's not a very long straightaway, and there really aren't many of them here at all. Come with the marathon race in this one, too. Seven laps for most of the races at this point. I've been four or five. I think Brent. Well, we didn't even do that race yet. So, Buttercup. No, I say that it's probably not even her fault. Odds are, in the corner like that, if she was probably just run off the road by someone else. Alex, what is wrong with you? That's. Oh, and then you run into your sister. Oh, okay, yep. Uh, I mean... I mean... The initial one was Alex. The second bit was... Like, unarguably her fault because she didn't even wait to come back onto the track. She just re-entered right into her... right into Blossom and then... that spun her the rest of the way around and kind of finished her off. So it was Alex at first, well, her own really, her own stupidity didn't exactly help her either. Mojo is like... Semi staying with the group here, and it's, it wasn't really how this was meant to work. I saw those dots, and I thought I was about to get re rendered really hard. Context, um, it sounds like a bird, it doesn't sound like a car.
Like I said, three has to now pass Mojo Jojo again. And this wasn't enough of a pain in the butt the first time. Alex passing his former teammate. I don't know what you even really call this relationship. I guess maybe rival? I guess it's like a Sonic vs. Shadow type thing. For after Sonic 06, that is. The cars are decently well matched, meaning Alex will probably struggle just to get past him. Well, Carmen is just going to enjoy a sudden lead out of nowhere because Falcon is holding up literally any car that could possibly threaten it. And that's also probably why Mojo is still with the group, wrong speaking, and then. XT3 is catching him quickly, which shows that he's not really being that fast. He's just like He's only there because neither is anyone else <laughs> Like the left ones of the cars in the front are considerably slower than the ones in the middle other than me um, This isn't really a good track for Grease Lightning either, but Alex and Burn are like a second or more faster than anything else in front of him, except for Carmen, who is actually running incredible lap times, probably because it's a mo it's eats a modern car. What? Eats a modern car. I'm I remember I swear. Um meaning modern technology goes into the performance of it. So it has like greater handling than say like Captain Falcon's car from nineteen seventy eight. Or gearheads from 98, which is usually a match, but is stuck behind Falcon. That's in like a track day slash street legal car. I don't even know what you'd call the McLaren B1. I mean, I think it would work on the road, maybe. I don't know. Well, I'm just creating. A good old barrier here. That bird has a lot of damage. I think I know where that came from as well. Um, probably from her dodo sister. Decided that <laughs> merging in front of her won't do anything. Burn is still defending. I mean, there's probably not much defense. It's more just like just kind of driving his line, and that's enough to probably keep Alex back there because, well, the cars are mostly even enough to where Alex would have to be pretty cavalier to make something happen already, or at all for that matter. Though an opportunity might present itself as Mojo Jojo blocks three cars at once. underpowered super trophy racer oh my god carbon has a 14 second lead what Just try and go around him, like, on the outside there? Oh, so crap. Lightning past me. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to score a point in this, like... Scrap metal.
But, um, yeah, that's, that's probably never going to happen. Man, we are, uh, getting intimate here, aren't we? Carbon Palace and stuff finish line and Otto still has an entire turn to go. Everyone else has two corners to go. Alright, now that lead is 17 seconds. I would expect it will end up being 20 by the end of the race. 20, yeah, 20 second difference between first and second. Well, if Bojo somehow manages to score this number of points, I think that's, I don't know how many that is, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. I believe that would be five points. That would be a pretty major occurrence, especially for the fate of the Powerpuffs back there, who haven't really scored much. And this race isn't really looking like it's going to change that any, because none of the other Lamborghinis are in the points. Blossom is down in 13th, and Bubbles is in 14th, and Buttercup is completely out altogether. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I would say things have been better for my favorite little superheroes. Because they're the only ones that are here. So obviously they're our favorites. Um, that's generally how that works. Yep, Carbon won by 20 entire seconds. Blossom may not even finish ahead of me here. Nope. Because I have just enough power to stay ahead for the next seven seconds. And there's that. Burn? No, well, besides carbon, burn had the fastest... Nope, Grease Lightning did. Wow, alright. I didn't think this really fitted his car. Or suited it at all, but apparently he did. I thought burn did with that 25 second, or 1 minute 25 flat. Nope. And Grease barely beat it. And I don't even know, I can't even get to imagine how he did it, but he did it. He did it, he did it. So Falcon's kind of pulling away from points because the starting grid just keeps gifting him like good positions for whatever reason. I think it's rigged. Um yes. No. <laughs> And this, uh, and here we go now to a track which has the possibility to be either a really good race or one of the most boring ones. Now, see, so the starting grid is what goes really far to determine that, because if we just have vehicles like Falcon and Vert and Gearhead up at the front, that's never going to change. But if somebody like the, one of those three, or like Alex, are towards the back and like one of the power puffs or myself are near the front that can kind of screw with things just a little bit
Buttercup and Blossom with a potential chance to recover from the um, drought of points that came from the last race. And also Carbon won the last race and so now he gets to start in last. <laughs> And also, I forgot this track isn't as long as I thought it was. They made it three laps. I determined the tracks before I determined the cars being used, and as a result, this is like supposed to be for a two or three race. And then I determined to use these kind of cars, and I was like, oh. I didn't even realize until after I already done everything that that's not really ideal. Also, why is it like a volcano blew up over there? Like, which it looked like a, like, a plume of smoke was just coming from the mountains in the back of the background over there. Granted, the track doesn't face that way out, so I can't really look at it again, yet. Falcon is quickly going through the field with a bit of damage to boot. There it is. There's the weird smoke-looking stuff. I just a cloud, I noticed, but it just... That gray, dark cloud above that hill, next to the arrow that was showing where Gearhead was, compared to... Th oh! That's a blown engine! <laughs> oh, 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 god darn it! Falcon, the race is over, pal! Like it or not, the game's over! And... Uh, Falcon! Fuck on punch! <laughs> Let's get uh, another look at that one, because that was. That took me by surprise just a wee bit, eh, if I'm honest. I noticed this car was a little sketchy over this bump here. It's happened in real life, too. That doesn't really give us a good view at all. Whack! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, that looks amazing. <laughs> I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I wish I knew how to make certain things thumbnails. That would totally be it right there. Oh my god! <laughs> Dunk. Oh my lord, that was... That was definitely worth looking at the replay for! <laughs> I think uh, Bubbles and Miss No, that was still caught on him. I th Falcon still hasn't figured it out. Buddy, your car is not moving. Retire. Exit. Go out. I want to see if his AI, like his little driver, is doing anything right now. Yeah. He's, uh. He's, um. There he goes. He finally realized oh, yeah, my car isn't working. Let me switch views back to the normal one, and we'll get back to the actual racing, as Alex has taken the lead. After gaining like three spots off of Burn XC3 and... Gear, or not Gearhead, um... Otto. Otto, who kind of got held up to a lot by... The, uh, whole Falcon incident. Oh. Buttercup with a very difficult job trying to defend from me. That that can't be very hard in this car. Um, she's in sixth, actually. The leaderboard wouldn't, you know, explain that properly, but she is in sixth. <laughs> um, I actually do know a way to make a certain picture a thumbnail. But to do that, I'd be uploading the, like, I'd use a, I'd have to use a different, like, software built into the PS4, which has to render the entire video at once before uploading, which is, like, I guess, somehow different from what it normally does, but it, it takes 
a lot longer. And it already takes like 20 minutes to upload these videos, on average. So longer is not really what I want when it comes to that. <laughs> So the boards have updated and Buttercup is definitely not in 6th. <laughs> Blossom is in 7th. Otto is in 6th. I'll just, uh... Join the open road out there. And Grease Lightning used its top speed just were right past Buttercup. Bird is there, and he'll also probably do the same in not very long. Yep, there it is. So, Buttercup seems unlikely. Actually, no, she probably still will because um, I'm blocking anyone else that could really get to her at the moment. And uh, Mojo Jojo is like dead even with her, and that is slightly faster, but like not faster enough given that is in this corner and Buttercup is like halfway down that straightaway. I would say that that would be like a... Uh, the split times aren't showing properly, but I had to guess it's like probably like a four, five second difference, maybe? XC3 thinks he's just impressing Gearhead by sticking here and fourth close by him, close behind him, rather. I don't really think Gearhead cares right now. He has a... Uh, he has an alien to deal with. If look at the podium in this race, is a human, an alien, and then a robot. And then another robot, and then... Carbon, and then... A human... A superhero. A human, like, like, I guess like a metahuman. Human... Like, a... Un... Unestablished... Metahuman... Monkey... Um, metaphysical being, human, mutated human, and then futuristic human. I guess he'd classify Falcon as a human. I mean, he is a human, but he's also a human from several years in the future, <laughs> at the very least. Probably more than just several, like a hundred. I mean... Yeah, the game says the year is 20XX, which means it doesn't know what year it is exactly, but it logically would be between what was 2003 or, or and uh, 2099, so... Of course it's going to GX. That wasn't obvious. Um, so it could at most be 80 years in the future, or... I mean, I guess it kind of it probably couldn't be too much in the in the future. Or it had to be a little ways in the future, I'm assuming, because we aren't even getting close to flying cars yet. Because we're instead just trying to make them dry themselves. So you know how that goes, and it's not going terribly well. That's such a weird noise for a car to be making. Car to be making. Blossom is also kind of under some threat here from Vert. And by threat, I mean he's about to just straight up pass her. And there he goes. Lightning might also catch her in time, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god. Oh god. I thought that was a 3 minute 24 and I was like, oh my god, how is this lap 16 seconds faster than Burns? No, it's only 6. Only. 
vigorously rolls eyes. Um, so you definitely had uh, some one-man shows, but at the very least, we can say that they were three different people, which means that, in most respects, that's actually balanced. Because that means, well, yeah, one car dominates, it's because of starting rear position, and not because their car is holy or unholy better. I'm sitting here like messing with a rubber band I found earlier because I'm like watching the race. I don't know if you're hearing these occasional snapping noises. They're not very loud because I wrapped it around my foot and if I let go of the rubber band, that's going to not feel great, so. I don't, I don't know why I felt the need to explain how rubber bands work, but you know. My Ian definitely did get to blossom. However, he's running out of straights to actually, like, pass her through. Because he isn't really going to do it through a corner too well in this car. He can try, but... He's just better waiting until he gets to a straightaway. Like this one, I think. Yeah, this would be a long enough straightaway. It would be, but... You gotta be quicker than that. And he's quicker than that. Blossom return the favor? I'm gonna go ahead and guess no. No. She does not. So, uh, <laughs> Sub Truck Challenge 1 2 is Alex crossed the finish line a good long while ago. Blossom is, like, basically able to, like, taste his rear wing, but she doesn't even try to pass him here. And it seems like she isn't gonna. Bert is battling Otto through the last turn, but I don't think it matters. Bert's car has more power, and away he goes. So yeah, that was not exactly a hard-fought place. Vert went from 13th to 5th. 6th. I read that wrong. Let's wait for the bubbles. Also didn't have the most amazing event here. Not help by being stuck behind Falcon's destroyed car for... Yeah, it's the first time you've seen a blown engine outside of, like... <laughs> Race Man get- or the, uh, STP getting assassinated on the way to try and... ...fix Alex after his car was also toast and couldn't steer properly. And wouldn't get really over much 30 miles an hour. And, yeah. Falcon just choked away a massive lead there. He'd be, like, at least 20 points ahead right now, possibly. But he, uh, got greedy. Somebody didn't play World Race, I guess. My dog is being retarded. Well, Joe currently has more points than the Power Buffs combined, and the four of them all have just barely more points than 9th and 10th place and points have combined. It's not, a uh, not looking too great for them. <laughs> Anyway, and with 
with that 